There's my newer uh, shackle right there. It's, it's amazing how the phone can look in there and, and see so well. I look in there, it's pitch black. You know, my primary insurance coverage is uh, on the models and virtually no damage to the model. So, so that's a huge relief. Uh, my, my power, uh, it converts uh, 110 to you know, zero to 30 volts. I mean, that's still intact. It was just on, on the other side of the wall from, from that power unit there. Electrical plug-in, they say, burnt up. Nothing was plugged in, nothing was charging, but I had one of those cubes there where you turn a two outlet into four, but that was the only thing that was plugged in the wall. Crushers are fine. Had some new videos playing because my, my main screener here piled up on Friday, so I had two uh, heater boxes there set up and, and was going to make that other screener, you know, my primary screener, but uh, I bet my conveyors over there are totally fine, it's just everything's covered in black soot. The fire got to the roof there, the spray foam there, and it looks like it burnt the roof off, and that's... That's the primary part of the damage. Wood rafters are probably ruined. Imagine the, you know, the building's probably completely, the building will have to come down and be replaced. See how well I can see in the center room. Toolbox is still there. This is where my 374 is being built. Looks like might be some, uh, oh yeah, you can see on the bell block there, quite a bit of damage, the servo, servo wiring. Wasn't too much over on that bench. Oh, that, that one truck I got from Keith Foreman, that's, that's destroyed. Oh, it's a beautiful truck. My D10 over here. Oh, look at that. That thing works. I oh, look at that. That D10 is just smoke damage. And all my stools over there are totally fine. And tooling in the back. I well, can see that window is destroyed, but mill and lathe look fine. That uh, uh, tool chest in the middle there, that, that held a, a lot of parts. It's just this really bad black soot smoke that's really bad. I don't know, it could have been a lot worse. There's a lot to salvage here. All my tools up front here, it's just, my, my pod's totally fine, compressor, all my tools on the bench. My easy built dozers just on, on the other side of the bandsaw. Uh, got a bottom dump trailer that's in here. Didn't have much for models up front. Everything's taped off so I can't go in there. Electrician just out here disconnected power to my shop and hooked it direct to my house so I get my power back on and get my furnace running again. You know, the wood rafters up there, they're all compromised. I'm surprised these walls didn't go up. OCB must be more fire retardant than I would have thought. I'm sure lots will happen next week, insurance. And there's a company called Service Master here. That they'll be out to clean my house. They'll have the right gear to go in there and clean everything. Make 
it uh, non toxic, so I'll have to wait for that to happen. So I'll have to find another place to live for four or five days. Give them a call here in about an hour. I had a friend that gonna give me a place to stay. I mean, look at this tire here. A little hot. Should get a couple more tires. You know, the, 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 the fire blew out the this window here. I mean, the smoke was bellowing out of here. I don't know. You don't want to come here. Oh, yeah, I got a Freddy gear drive truck over there. The cab is completely melted. That's damaged. Uh, my little. Oh, shit, look at that. My little joints. Tan and pop bits. Oh, that's some bitch. That's my first ever truck I bought in 1995. That's, that's totally gone. That's unfortunate, but that D10, that D9 is still there. Oh, my stools aren't burnt. Number of parts under the bench are probably totally fine, just have to be cleaned. There's a, a green part there, it's a shaker uh, screener. Fixing a bearing on. It's really not that bad. You know, I'm well insured in my. I just lost the building. You know, I'm gonna have to replace this building. But it started over there in in, in a in a wall socket, and, and and I know. I did have a, a battery charger in there last night, and, and the lipo's in a lipo bag, and. I unplugged everything this morning and I just left here for like an hour. Came back and found my shop totally engulfed with smoke. You know, because of my tunnel there, the furnace was probably running and pulled the smoke down in there and then filled the house full of smoke. So I can't stay in the house either right now. The house will have to be cleaned first. Uh, lining up a place for my little buddy there, Ranger. He's going to have to go stay somewhere else. You see here, when you look at that track over there, the, the new green hydraulic lines aren't damaged. Engine body's just back there. You know, I... My original B50 truck is completely intact. It's just covered in soot. Uh, there's my 450 down there. It's covered in soot, but no damage. So it's just smoke over here. Oh. The, the lean to insulation here, not damaged. Lights are fine. My other B42 or 4206 truck. Imagine the fire men probably tripped over it. There's my other B42. 4206. It's perfectly intact. I think they just tripped over it, knocked the cab off. Oh, it's fine. See my truck and pop there. It's looking at it from just inside the door. The firemen wouldn't let me come in here at all. So I'm just looking at it through the windows and really quite impressed how how my cameras are able to look through. You can see the light on it in my basement there. Electrician was out here and so that's powered. I was just showing up and turn the power back on, so awesome. This is not as bad as it could have been. <laughs> 